Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. We're back at it today with some brand new YouTube beef with uh, someone I never expected to go back and forth with on YouTube and that would be my dad. I, I mean, Mark Tilbury. Now, for those who don't know, Mark Tilbury posted a video the other week about how much money he spends as a millionaire to which I, uh, reviewed his video on my channel, as I do, and uh, now I see this on my page. It's titled, My Response to Graham Stephan. So with that said, guys, it looks like we're going down the hole in YouTube drama, and uh, let me see what he has to say and react to it. But first, we have to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. With that said, Mark, let's see what you have to say. Hi, Mark, it's Guys here. <laughs> he did the intro. He did the intro. I was giving him a hard time the first time for uh, not doing that as his intro. But you know what? He did it. Believe it or not, my younger self actually just reacted to one of my videos where I explained exactly how much money I spend as a millionaire. Of course, I'm talking about the finance legend that is Graham Stephan. And I have to admit, the similarities between us are just crazy. Yeah, even the set design is pretty similar. Like, I also have a brick veneer behind the drum set. We both had this cool, like, Hollywood lamp. And uh, with... Uh, a Mac on the table. So, uh, oh, with the coffee. How could I forget? We both love talking about personal finance, side hustles, and smashing that like button for the L-Tube algorithm. <laughs> I tell you, like, we're the same. We're the same, this is nuts. I'm actually subscribed to Graham and I watch his videos often. However, today I want to address some of the comments he made as well as giving my thoughts about them. Wow, here we go. It's been a while since we've done a uh, back and forth like this. Tiffany Ma was the last one. We went back and forth five times and uh, you know what, we settled it. The beef was squashed, we had her on the podcast. All is fine, but now Mark, uh, it's your turn. So let's react to Graham reacting to me. I think we just entered the infinite monetization loop. <laughs> this is crazy. He's stealing my lines, Mark. You can't, you can't steal my lines like that. The, the infinite monetization loop is my thing. I do that. Hi guys, it's Mark. So I thought it was about time. He should really intro this with, what's up you guys? No, hold on. What's up you guys? It's Mark here. I, I, I can't, again, I can't do the accent. It's so bad. Before I can do that, we need to make a few changes. No way. No, I want to see him doing an English accent. Like, like not English, like, like an American accent. That, to me, would be perfect. I, I can't do an English accent. Look, this is, he's good. Right, all set. <clears throat> what's up, you guys? It's Mark here. What's up, you guys? It's Mark here. No, you got to do the what's up, you guys? It's Mark here in the uh, American accent. When I was younger, I'd always look up to the rich people in my neighborhood. Yeah, see, but just watch those people you look up to are just completely broke. They're drowning in debt. They drive their Ferrari into the garage and then they get inside and like, ah, oh, crap, how am I gonna pay for this? Actually, when I was younger, the whole buying on credit mentality didn't seem to be as widespread. For example, nowadays, when you go to a car dealership, they ask you how much you can afford per month rather than just selling a car you can buy there and then. Yeah, see, that's, uh, that's cheeky, as, as he would say. That's what they do. It's like, don't pay attention to the total cost. Don't pay attention to the, that interest rate. That doesn't mean anything. Just focus on uh, how much money you have every month, and then we could work backwards from there. Sneaky. When we add Instagram and other social medias on top of this, it just makes the need to impress others and keep it up with your friends a lot worse. It seems like it really doesn't matter what you actually own. It's all just about what you can afford to show off on social media and how many likes you can get. But you know what? Sometimes that does work. I'm telling you, flexing on YouTube is like, that's whole like another, that is big brain stuff because get this, you buy a Lamborghini, okay? So let's say your payment is $2,500, $3,000 a month. Let's say you buy a Lamborghini. You flex that on YouTube. Now all of a sudden the YouTube channel is making $6,000 a month. Well, guess what? Now that Lamborghini is paid for and you're making $3,000 a month. So you see it's working. And then you're like, wow, I gotta go and buy the mansion too. So then you go and buy a mansion and that costs you, let's say, $7,000 a month. But now you make back on YouTube $20,000 a month because you got the mansion and the Lamborghini. So it just, it keeps going up and, and now it seems to be Rolexes. You gotta be flexing Rolexes. That's the, that's the new thing on YouTube. Flex the Rolexes, buy them for everybody and uh, that makes you the money back plus more. It's crazy. Because the US dollar is the reserve currency of the world, for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna be using that in this video. See, look at that. He's doing us a huge favor here because normally I have to go and convert pounds into the US dollar and then give an estimation. The fact that he's doing this for us 
That's why he's a millionaire. I'm so glad he brought that up because check out these comments. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put on my best Graham impression for this. Really annoys me how an Englishman is saying dollars, gas, and other Americanisms. It's our language, speak it properly. Oh my God, wow, look at that comment. That comment is incredible, hold on. Really annoys me how an Englishman is saying a dollar, gas, and other Americanisms. It's our language, speak it properly, you're not American, man. Gosh, it blows my mind how like, Someone like that, first of all, they have access to the internet. That's problem number one. The problem number two is like, why? Why even comment that? It's just like, even if you're angry, like for, you shouldn't be angry, but like, let's say even you are. Why then spend more time like, oh, I'm gonna comment on that, oh, that's bad. Makes no sense. Why does this fella speak about American currency? Ain't you a Brit? Why don't you quote pounds? It's annoying that you're pandering to the Americans. <laughs> He's, these are funny comments though. I want to see uh, a whole video from him just doing that, like eight minutes straight of just like reading these comments. They're, they're wild. Well, I think it's finally time I address this. A reserve currency is a globally recognized national currency commonly used in international trade and global finance. The British pound was once the world's reserve currency, but times have changed. And now it's the US dollar that holds that title. My mission has always been to help as many people as possible become wealthy by thinking like an investor and an entrepreneur. By thinking like an American. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, but uh, I, I'd be curious to see what his demographics are like on YouTube. Like I know for my audience, like 65 to 75% of my audience is from the US. And then after that, we get Canada, Mexico, Australia, uh, the UK, parts of Europe. So, it, you know, whittles down from there, but uh, the vast majority of people are from the US. I wonder if it would be the same for him. On Monday, I had to spend $5,000 on Google shopping ads. Yeah, but see, he'll spend $5,000, he'll make like $8,000 back, so he's doing well. I wouldn't even count that as an expense. I would just look at the net for that. Yeah, he's right here. When I'm spending money, I always think about the ROI, or in other words, return on investment. But it doesn't have to be all about monetary gain. A good return can also come in the form of relaxation, building connections and enjoying yourself. I learned this when I worked too hard in my early 20s and was told by the doctor that I needed to take a break. Otherwise, I'd run myself into the ground. <laughs> See, that, that's why I just don't go to the doctor. Mm. <laughs> if I don't go to the doctor, they're not gonna tell me to uh, stop working. That's the solution. My shops sell model planes, helicopters, cars, and trains. Wow, that's neat. This is the type of store that I would have loved as a kid. If I were like seven to 10 years old going into that store, I would want everything. Well, you're welcome to come along to one of the shops, Graham, and I'll tell you what, I'll even do you a special deal just for you. I'll take off the spending limit so you can go crazy and buy whatever you want. No way, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I might have to take you up on that. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> See, it's crazy when you add it up like that, but okay, the renovation, I'd say that's the same thing as him saying he made an investment that day. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. Investing in my house is adding long-term value, not only in the resale price, but also improves my lifestyle. Most of my real estate investments are actually commercial rather than residential. Oh yeah, see I wanna start saying that. Like the Ford GT, that improves my lifestyle. The, uh, the Rolex Daytona, yeah, that improves my lifestyle. That uh, five-star massage I got the other day at the uh, Beverly Hilton, that just improves my lifestyle. And uh, because of that, I make more money. Now now everything, now I can go wild. Now I can spend money on everything and uh, it just improves my lifestyle. So like I say in the video, I usually have some kind of real estate expense every week. Plus we're building out our guest quarters. So you're more than welcome to come and stay in the North Wing when you come over, Graham. Wow, the North Wing. This better be like a bed and breakfast. We're gonna wake up, I, I'm gonna eat the same $2 breakfast is you. That's what I would like. On my way to the office, I picked up a $7 iced coffee frappuccino special from Starbucks. Whoa, look at that. He's splurging. Jeez, you know what's crazy? I spent an entire week eating Starbucks the other week. It makes me sick to think about eating anything Starbucks now. It's wild how it works like that. Only joking, Graham. I actually just... Oh! He got me. This guy is like... This guy's on another level. I was hoping Graham would fall for that one, as if I'd buy a fancy Starbucks when I can have this 20 cent size coffee. Oh yeah, or he could get this coffee at bankrollcoffee.com, which by the way, like uh, I think, ooh, I think it's gonna be out. By the time this video is posted, 
we're coming out with a brand new coffee. So you know what? I'm not gonna ruin the surprise here. All you gotta do is after the video, don't forget, go to bankrollcoffee.com and you could pick up the new coffee, okay? Before it sells out, enjoy. What a lot of people don't realize is although this might seem tight, it is actually the reason why most people don't end up retiring with over a million dollars. If you were to invest $5 every single day starting at 20 years old into an S&P 500 index fund, which has historically returned an average of 10% per year, then by the time you're 60... Oh gosh, I could quote this stuff by memory. All of this, S&P 500, you know, average of 8% return per year, adjusted for inflation with dividends reinvested. It's just like, I, I keep just saying that stuff in my sleep now. Me and my wife were going for fish and chips by the beach. We shared a large cod and chips, which cost us $10. We even take our own ketchup, as they charge so much for those little portions. It's crazy. I don't believe that. I don't believe that ketchup bit. Let's see what he says. And there's no way I'm ever going to pay for those. Wait, what? How does he just walk around all day carrying a huge, like, a gallon of ketchup? Where does he put that? And does no one question that throughout the day when he takes out a gallon of ketchup from a trench coat? He's like, oh, well, I'm not gonna pay for a, for a little packet. Oh, look at that, see? He has a trench coat on now, look at that. Not, not a trench coat, sorry, but, but the puffer jacket. I've always got it, Graham. Doesn't everyone? Not to mention mustard, pepper, salt, and of course, Vinegar. But seriously, I try and invest close to 90% of what I make. So if I can squeeze that little bit of extra cash by just bringing some extra sauces along, then I just can't resist it. That's silly though. Why not just do the, like the little ketchup packets? Little tiny ones. You don't need the whole big thing of it. The, they sell little miniature ones. Like, and plus half the time, like how often do you really use this? How often are you going about your day and you're like, oh, darn. I, I need ketchup, but I forgot to pack it in my jacket today. Plus every place gives you ketchup for free. I have never seen a place besides McDonald's, unfortunately, that, that charges you extra for like just more than a normal amount of ketchup or mustard or anything. It, it's all free. I've also found that usually the extras like drinks, sauces and desserts are where you get the least value for your money. So if you can substitute these, then you're much better off. But of course, on special occasions like an anniversary, I'm more than happy to take my wife out for a lovely five-star dinner. I thought for a second he was like, five dollar dinner. <laughs> my lovely wife out to a five dollar dinner that uh, I made at home with food that uh, was about to expire the next day, but it was 75% off. And I just, you just kind of cut off the mold. You just don't need that part. It's good as new. You don't even taste it. Golf here is $945 a year. So that works out to $18.17 a week. That's not bad at all for golf. Yep, I certainly enjoy my golf, but it's a lot more than just a hobby, as it's a great way to connect with people and do business. I once got invited to play golf in China, a place called Mission Hills, which is a very, very famous golf course. This led to me striking an exclusive business deal around the 15th hole. It all sounds so nice, an exclusive business deal. Deal. Man, I want I want to do business deals on the fifth hole. I'm I'm doing business deals. Uh, I don't really do business deals. I just ask people to hit the like button. That's good enough for me. You do that, I'm happy. In the afternoon, I went for tea and scones with my son Curtis. Curtis also took the time to discuss business with me. Yeah, see, look at that. He uh, he talked business, so then he could write off the meal. That's smart. You always want to talk a little bit of business. This is very true, and I think we should put this example on the board. I've seen this done on Instagram. Let's imagine as an employee, you got paid $100. You get taxed immediately by 20%. Oh, he's got an explanation for everything. Look at that. Perfect. Which brings you down to $80. Your expenses are $69, then leaving you with only $11. Now let's look how a business is different. You've got the same $100, you spend your expenses before you're taxed, you have $31 left, which you're taxed on at 20%. That leaves you with $24.80. You can see why being a business is much more beneficial. It's all about when you're taxed and you can write things off with a side hustle. Yeah, my side hustle is uh, going, to, going to business meetings and lunches where I could order lobster and sushi and talk the YouTube algorithm and get to write it off. 
My houses and cars are all paid off. Wow, see, there we go. I was curious about his uh, housing payment. I wonder what property tax is though, but either way, incredible. My gas and electric comes out $116.70 per week, and my water totals $25.64 per week. There is no property tax in the UK, but we do have to pay council tax, which goes towards local services, for instance, rubbish collection. No property tax in the UK. Hmm. Well, I guess we're moving to the UK. I'm kidding. Due to the size of my house, I have to pay a considerable amount, which comes out at $111.93 per week. That's not terrible. How much is mine here? Mine is, uh, gosh, like 12 grand? 12 grand, so a thousand a month. So a thousand a month uh, for 250 a week. I pay $250 a week in property tax here. We're gonna go to the comments and see if maybe the comments have anything negative to say. This is a fun idea. Let's check out some of the comments on his video. The most anticipated crossover of all time. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm glad you saw the comments in my video because I, I gotta say, everyone who comments down below in the description, you guys like make the videos. I Even though I don't respond to everybody, I read through all the comments, especially like within the first few hours. And like sometimes I'll come back to it the next day and I read which comments are at the top. I see them all. So even if I'm not actively there responding to everybody, I read like 95% of them. So it, it's cool to see that acknowledged. I've never seen Graham smile so much during a reaction video. <laughs> These are, they're good. They know me. They know me really well. So how about this, Mark? If you're ever going to be in Las Vegas, if you want to come down and come and meet us on the Iced Coffee Hour, let us know. We would love to talk to you. I think you'd be a great person to have on. Podcast invitation accepted. I've just got to figure out how I can fit the cost of the flight into my weekly budget. Oh, wait. It's a tax write-off. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll bring some crumpets with me and Marmite. <laughs> All right, Mark, how about this? Just let us know when you want to come on the Iced Coffee Hour. We just finished the brand new set, so you'll be one of the first people to be there and try it out. So you know what? I'll reach out to you on Instagram. We'll be able to do this. And listen, I'm glad we were able to do this infinite monetization loop here on YouTube and uh, have our first few conversations just over a camera back and forth like they used to do in the olden days. So I got to say, I really enjoyed this. And again, don't forget, uh, by the way, bankrollcoffee.com. We just released a brand new coffee. I don't know when it's going to be selling out, but uh, anyway, if you guys want to get that down below in the description, enjoy. And uh, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to destroy the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I post it pretty much daily, so if you want to be a part of it there, feel free to add me there as in the podcast, The Ice Coffee Hour, so you can see Mark on there pretty soon. Hope Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.